Welcome back guys. Uh, today we have a 2009 model Ford Falcon FG. Uh, this one's a six cylinder engine. Uh, customers complain it's just uh, engine light coming on. Um, other than that, there's no other symptom, no lack of power, car drives and behave the way it should, just the engine light on. Um, so I'm just gonna give you, I'm just already ahead of the game here. So when I first brought it in, this car had a fault uh, on engine computer saying uh, fuel system too rich, oxygen sensor, bank one, sensor one, and bank one, sensor two, oxygen sensor rich. Um, something like that. So basically it's a rich condition. Um, the reason I wanted to make a video <clears throat> uh, is because I've seen this kind of problem uh, quite a few times on a Ford Falcon, even BA Falcon, AU Falcon, FG Falcon, they all uh, I've seen across the board, they all have this similar problem. So <clears throat> uh, I thought I'll just make a video uh, on this uh, car. I can. I can show you the customers have already replaced the oxygen sensor, which is um, which obviously didn't fix the problem. Uh, so I got the car now. So whenever I have a um, rich fuel condition problem, I usually like to sort of follow this diagnostic procedure. Uh, I'll just walk you through. Um, my diagnostic procedure um, like I said I already know what the problem is on this car I just wanted to make a review video on um, on this one so you guys can learn from it too all right I have already selected the car um, now there is no fault code there anymore because I was doing some testing uh, but I can show you the procedure where I do what I go through when I, whenever I have this kind of problem. So I like to go to uh, the live data. And usually I like to select a couple of this um, data here, usually oxygen sensor data and fuel trim data uh, for this kind of pro problem. Uh, I'll just quickly do that. Select sensor one, sensor two. Also, I'll probably select long-term fuel trim and also short-term fuel trim as well. But it's not much of a help on this car because the way computer does short-term fuel uh, trim is a little bit different to um, the older vehicle models. So it might not help, but... I'll just put it up there anyway, just if I can find it. So that's your short term fuel trim there. So usually I like to select this fault, they start the car. And up here on the oxygen sensor, I can't graph that for some reason, that's weird. But anyway. Uh, you can see a bank one sensor two, our post catalytic converter um, oxygen sensor. We can see the graph. I'll just make it small there. And I'd like to show you this bank one sensor one too, but doesn't really matter. Uh, anyway, the bank one sensor one is working the way we want it to work. Uh, car's still warming up, so you're going to see a bit of a unusual um, data on a bank one sensor to here as well but if you give it time you'll stabilize but more than i am focused here on long term fuel trim where you can see 25 um, minus 25 percent so computer is trying to cut fuel on this car so we know it is a um, rich condition uh, Let's just rev it, see if that changed anything. So if I start revving it, hold it up there, the, the long-term fuel trip drop, drops to zero. Uh, seems like we are having problem on this one, just on idle sort of, um, 
yeah that's what it looks like so a long-term fuel trim which is minus 25 we know it's running rich computer trying to compensate um, for that rich condition um, I still don't know why I can't graph this sensor one uh, but anyway uh, if I graph it it will work like a normal sensor it will go up and down like you know uh, close to zero close to eight nine uh, point eight nine volt uh, so it it's working um, just today it's it's not working on the scan tool I don't know why anyway um, so long story short a rich condition um, there's few things I like to do when you have a, a show uh, this kind of problem on pretty much any car but especially on Ford Falcon I will just go under the hood and I'll try to show you um, uh, what I usually do um, if you guys can see there it's it it's got a brand new oxygen sensor right there um, but obviously that's not our problem of course that didn't fix the car uh, fix the engine light so usually this type of problem. so whenever this kind of problem um, happens uh, I usually like to you know check few things under the hood like your evap system purge um, system so you, on this FZ Falcon the little hose here uh, that comes and tees into this pipe here so this coming from the purge solenoid from the tank uh, and it goes into the intake manifold of course it's got a supply there for vacuum for the PCV valve there as well so usually just take this off uh, and block that intake and see if the fuel trims uh, gets better also second thing can leak um, and, and uh, uh, fuel into the intake is your <coughs> um, vacuum supply line for the fuel pressure regular at the back there I can't really see difficult to see I'll just explain to you uh, that vacuum line usually it's down in this area if you follow look look at it and follow it you'll know what I'm talking about it's similar looking sort of fitting in the on the side there so take that off coming from the fuel pressure regulator and block the intake uh, like I said, sometimes you can see a sign of raw fuel presence on that fuel hose too, but sometimes you don't. Uh, just block that intake pipe and see if it's the um, fuel trim gets better. Um, and another reason why you're going to have a rich condition is your injectors are leaking. So on this particular engine, it's really difficult to get to the injector. I can get to one, that's about it. So the rest of the injector is under this manifold. So it's gonna be super difficult to um, do a leak test on injectors on this model. So obviously customers are gonna have to pay me, you know, hundreds of dollars even to just to check it. Um, so that will be the last test I will do um, just because it's a time-consuming test plus especially in this engine obviously uh, you're gonna have to pull apart a lot of things to get to the injectors um, so I'll, of course just keep that in back of your head that this uh, injector leaking can also cause that um, rich condition um, so but for this uh, engine because like I said I've had this problem many times on Ford Falcon so I'm thinking it's a fuel pressure regulator that's the problem so to do that we're gonna hook up our fuel pressure gauge and hopefully we'll see uh, some evidence there having a restricted um, fuel pressure regulator right here I just uh, put my fuel pressure gauge on my inlet side coming from the tank this is my return uh, if you follow this hose up there you'll see it's connected to the regulator which is going to be your return side so I'm on the I just put a T uh, connectors um, on my input fuel line so that's my little rig there and we're gonna measure the fuel pressure now we'll come down and we'll see what the pressure is doing all right i'll let you guys focus on this fuel pressure gauge and i'm going to go and start the car
I'll just quickly bleed this fuel a little bit. All right, we sitting around 60. And it's increasing slowly and it's dropping. It's dropping down to 50 now. And it's going up 60. 64. So I had a look uh, on the specs on this vehicle. Um, I think we, it says we're gonna need to see about 40 PSI um, at idle. So obviously when you rev, rev it, it's gonna go up. Um, but at idle, uh, the spec's supposed to be 40, but we're sitting about 60. Um, and I think it's increasing slowly. So if you wait a bit longer, it might even go up to 70s, 80. So fuel pressure is really, really high, guys. So this is um, the reason why we have a rich condition. All right, this is the reason why I think it's got a rich condition. Uh, so it's gonna need a new fuel pressure regulator. Now on BA and AU Falcons, BF, Fal BF Falcons, it's pretty easy to do. It's right on that fuel rail down in that area. Um, but for this FG Falcons, it uh, looks pretty difficult to reach, but um, I haven't done one in the past. But I have done on AU, BA, and uh, BFs, and they're pretty easy. This is one clip, pretty simple to do. Uh, but this one is going to be pretty, a little bit hard, but obviously I'm not going to video that for you guys. So because of the restriction on the fuel pressure regulator, I think um, this, uh, in the engine light's coming on because of the rich condition. So fuel pressure uh, is blocked. I would say because of the dirt and debris been you know stored and collected over the years and <coughs> enough to restrict the fuel flow so obviously the pressure is going to be high on the fuel rail um, now whenever you're changing that I would recommend replacing at least a new fuel filter at the same time Bracket. Yeah, I'll probably click it to it now. Yeah. Some torch down there. Let's get this out. It's the little vacuum hose for the pressure regulator. Right. It's a hose for the brake booster. So clip out like that one. And this should 
it's coming out just like that. There you go, guys. Our pressure regulator is out. There's a, there's a o ring down there. Let me grab that o ring. All right, guys, uh, we just finished putting this uh, fuel pressure regulator and we are back. Uh, the car's been running for a couple of minutes. Uh, we are back on the screen here. Um, and uh, we're just looking at the long term fuel trim. See how before it was stuck at um, whatever that number was minus 25 uh, percent, and now it come down to minus one percent. So, without doing anything on um, the scan tool, resetting the fuel trim, whatever, it just cleared itself. Um, and uh, it's looking good that's what we need to see and um, that's a wrap guys um, thank you I'll see you next time